Oh, Shalom Ras Tefari, and a Ras Yadinos Tefari name. I am Wendem Yadin, and I'm reporting for the line of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty and broadcasting on Ethiopian World Net, presently on the YouTubes. All right, and you can join us on the Facebook. Um, this, this this particular book right here is very interesting. The 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 Rasta man or the brethren, as we may say, so in grace, who um, wrote this book, Ross Nathaniel, you know, he's, he's, he's gone through certain, you know, certain things and certain things have come out, but regardless of that, the work that he did here still is a very, very important work, and this is the particular work right here, mm-hmm, right, um, and this is where his Majesty visited in 1954. Yovas, and we we've touched on this book previously. Yovas in connection with the whole civil rights movement, the real unsung um, Haru or hero of the civil rights movement. Our Godfather, the King of Kings, the Maui, Haile Selassie, Haile Selassie the first. Now we want to do a vid actually while we're mentioning this vid. We'll hopefully let you know why we mentioned this video, and then also this particular book right here, the betrayal of Ethiopia, right? Um, by uh, Asifa, Asifa Adefris, 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 right? And this particular book by a native Ethiopian really gives a true account of what we know as the so-called um, godless and creeping coup against his imperial master, the creeping coup against the king of kings, the great transgression from which Ethiopia is still in an unrepentant mode. Ethiopia must repent. You know, and in order for the true renaissance and even the restoration of our divine monarchy, because the monarchy is the key, you understand, but there's a foundation. And this teaching right here that we have been teaching on this particular Shabbat, um, the Rastafari Sabbatical Study Number 48 is Shofetim, and Shofetim means the magistrate. Shofetim refers to the judges, or Bamarinya, the Farajos, and those who can get a get a get a copy of it or get a listen to it. We did one of our first uh, Sabbatical uh, call conferencing. We give thanks and praise to His Majesty in the name of Geta Yesus. And we thank I and I, brother Wendem uh, Tobia Tefari or Tefari, for helping to initiate that, and all the brothers and the sister who attended that particular call conferencing. So, if you want to hear that particular LOJ SCC or the Sabbatical call conferencing, please check it out on the Facebook as well as on Wendem uh, Tobia Tefari's site as well. And hopefully we'll be able to work with that um, audio. I think it's in video form, so forth and so on, where you can get a listen to that particular teaching. And that was very special because that was said to be a blue moon, right? So hopefully it won't be just once in the blue moon, but it began on a blue moon. And in addition to that, um, ones have pointed out there were some strange lights that were in the sky over Brooklyn that were reported on that very same night, you understand, or uh, roughly around that very same time. We saw the clip, or we saw the actual vid for it, and we read up a little bit about it, but we didn't actually look at the diff different videos of it as of yet. But when we saw that, you know, it's, it's according to His Majesty. So it's not that, you know, we dismiss that, but, you know, there would be those sort of signs. But it's not based on that, you understand, that we do this. You understand, but there'll be affirmations to the teachings of His Imperial Majesty. You understand, both personal affirmations and, and 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 collective affirmations to the truth of the teaching of the King of Kings and His Christ. Now, what we want to touch on right here was about the order of the Garter, the order of the Garter, and no doubt you've seen the the eye trait, the picture of His Imperial Majesty. Moan Bessazem Negeri Yehuda, Adamawi Chayla Shalase Shiyuma Egziavi Hanugushin Negesh 
the Ethiopia. You see him with the British, with the British Queen, um, Elizabeth, or um, spiritually Jezebel. You know, since she's been given a time to repent of her transgression against that covenant of peace. And if you look at the vid that we have, Ethiopia 2012 Zion, it should still be up on the YouTubes. If not, you should see it on our site as well. But the, the video, I think, is still up there. So look for Ethiopia 2012 Zion. We had, this is from a couple of years ago when we first started to post on the, on the YouTube, so forth and so on, that um, a, a particular prophetic perspective was shown to I and I. And seeing what we've seen with the London or the London um, Olympics, right, and see what happened in that particular situation and the whole connection with the 2012 and Zion and so forth and so on. Then you check when we put our vid up there, I think it was before, they had announced that it would be in London or London as well. And so there's this whole um, Zion, there's a whole Zion connection. Now, let's not forget the two truths. The principle of the two truths in, in, in fulfillment of, of prophecy and the divinity and concerning God, the Father, and saying there's the Father and the Son as one. And we've been teaching on the Trinity as well. Mm. Now, the, now the Trinity does not mean the same thing from our roots and from the root. This is also another very interesting and good book right here, The Root of Rastafari by um, Virginia Lee Jacobs and we've touched on this particular it's a little book but it's, it's, it's Likul but it's Talawa Likul but Talawa so on the order of the, of the Garta we, have, we noticed this, we start to think about it because if you look at the order of Garta go to the, the YouTubes and not the YouTubes, the Wikipedia right, the Wikipedia um, the free uh, online um, encyclopedia they call it and when you look up Garta, right, when you look up the Garta or order of the Garta, and you go into, in fact, we have it open right here, and let's see if they updated it, because we were surprised when we went to the originator of the order of the Garta is actually a king, um, an English king, Edward. So this particular um, uh, vid right here and this teaching and this subject matter actually connects with what we call the the true or the original black nobility. Not the black nobility of today, but the original black nobility of yesterday. There was a, a hostile takeover. I mean, this has gone on even in Christianity. When you go to the catacombs and you go to the Eastern Oriental and the Eastern churches and you see the pictures of Christ, the depiction of Christ in the, in the catacombs, you see he's a black man. You understand he's an Ethiopian. But that is not what we see today. There's been the whole iconoclast phase and the whitewashing and the distortions. If you look at Christianity today, or what's called Christianity today, or churchianity, or insanity in, in, in so-called Christ's name, it's a whole different thing than the founder of the faith. You understand? Some will be shocked to see this image. You understand? this image of Christ, but they're used to the Caesar Borgia's image of the so-called white Jesus image. Now, Tobia had posted something on the, on the Ethiopian uh, World Net, the Facebook, and it's interesting. It's somebody is reading their Bible and they have their cell phone there, and up comes, um, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a Caesar Borgia's picture, and it says God on it. And the question was posed, um, will you answer, would you answer his, his, his call? You know, and different ones had weighed in. And we basically said, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. You understand? Absolute lie not. You know, and we lied not, we wouldn't answer. In fact, you know, we're saying we would, we would put him on notice, you know, of not calling. You know what I'm saying? Because he block his call. We would block that call. Because, you know, some want to say, well, he calls himself God, so forth and so on. But these things we already know. You know what I'm saying? We have to grow. You know what I'm saying? With what we already know. You know so that was interesting right there. We'll, we'll try to do something to that. That was an interesting, um, it, something to make one think, hopefully, and maybe cause one to become awakened 
if not fully awake, but at least to begin that process, and if they already awakening to actually wake up, you also to become fully conscious. You understand? We can't just keep learning, but not coming to the acknowledgement to act on what we know of as being the truth. Now, all that being said, let's touch on this right here. You remember this? What happened to this? You, you know what this is, right? Remember the old Rastafari belts? You understand? The old belts, the red, gold, green, the ice, gold, green belts um, for, of Rastafari. All right, now, this one right here is um, made in China. You know, and some will say, oh, China, rah, rah, rah. But when we study His Majesty, you know, we, we really have to make our own um, negotiations and agreements with China. If we really are coming from 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 understanding to overstanding, you understand, and, and to the true, if the King of Kings is Earth's rightful ruler, then we play a very pivotal role, you understand, in the state of the situation what that's going on. You understand, if he is the King of Kings, then who are the kings? You understand that it is I and I who are that that kingdom of the priesthood. But we have to grow up. We have to be born again. You understand? We have to recognize what is the truth concerning the King of Kings and his Christ and what's the order of business. So, um, this is not opening up right here, right now. Okay, here here we go. So, when you, when you go to the order of the garter, it's interesting because the originator of that order is a black king. It's very clear when you see the picture. But they bury that picture of... Um, King Edward, let's, let's, let's open this up in a, in a new tab. Let's open up in a new tab. They bury the picture of it. So a lot of things have gone on even since His Imperial Majesty received his honorary. And this is why we pointed out this particular book right here. Um, many of you all are familiar with it, but if we go to this page right here, uh, if we go to this page right here, you'll see um, a list of all the honorary um, titles that his imperial majesty received from all of the ancient orders. Now, some confused people confuse um, the ancient Christian, what we would call knights or soldiers of Christ, because many of these orders, as we go through many of these orders, we'll recognize that many of these ancient orders were ancient orders of Christian soldiers or Christian knights, as we read in the Bible, it says to um, endure hardness. You, you, to, to be a, a good soldier of Jesus Christos because there's a spiritual warfare. There's a spiritual warfare that is going on. Now, when we look through this, I think the Order of the Garter is also listed here as well, right? The Order of the Garter. Now, if you look up Order of Garter, let's see, did that open up? Yeah, when you look up Order of the Garter here, you will, you'll find that they will have a, a picture of someone. I forgot the, this king's name, but this guy seems like he's a little more European in features. But then when we look at the, the found of the order, and then if you just go do this search yourself, you'll see how difficult, it's not, it's not where it should be. You understand when he talk about the found of the order of the guard, to, they list his name, but they don't show that old um, drawing of the particular king. And then you have to actually click on King, I think, King Edward. Let me get his um, um, nominal. You know what I'm saying? What was his nominal? It's the most noble order of the Garter, and it was founded in 1348. And it's the highest order of chivalry existing in England and is dedicated to the image and arms of Caduce Georgis of St. George. Now, no doubt you recall that on May 5th, 1941, when His Imperial Majesty gave what we know as the Independence Day or Liberation Day speech, he mentions in that particular speech um, both the, the, the rising of the godless and the cruel dragon. He mentions St. George, St. George as being the patron saint of of the Ethiopian, the Imperial Ethiopian Army of His Imperial Majesty, as well as being the patron saint of the British armies. Now, let's clarify something right here. 
the original idea of Berit Ish comes from the Black Hebrews. You understand? Or the the Ethiopian Hebrew monarchy or nobility that in ancient times was founded throughout Europe that actually civilized Europe. This is the half of the story that they don't like to tell you, but many other brothers and sisters, including um, um, on essays by Ikoa, if you go to her page, type that in, Ikoa, E-K-O-W-A, and you look up either black nobility, black monarchy, she has a wonderful page right there, and she gives a lot of important and factual information. Because when you speak to people and say, well, the nobility, the true nobility of England and of every European country actually was founded by black people or Ethiopian people or Beta Israel, Israelites, black Hebrew Israelite people, a lot of folks would, you know, dismiss it because they are used to the make-believe of TV and movies. They've seen a lot of the make-believe of TV and movie, Disney movie, Disney movies, and so forth and so on. So they basically have been um, deceived by the image of the beast. You understand the image of the beast, the whole whitewash that's going on. Now, why is this important? Well, first of all, it's important because it's the truth. And this particular truth, we have to ask, why is this truth suppressed? And then, by looking at it now in its true context, how does it give us a clearer understanding and interpretation of true history, or what we call history? That's what we really need to check out. That's what we really need to know right there. So, when we mention the Rastafari belt, right, that mainly and namely came out of Jamaica, you understand, we have to say that it is the Jamaican Rastafari in that sense that in a way has resurrected the order of the Garta even amongst I and I. And you don't see this being used so much anymore. You understand this uh, red, gold, green belt. But then when you look at the logo, let's see if we can pull up the logo for the order of the Garta. Um, this machine here is, yeah, you know, Babylon don't want I and I. You know, they don't want to see us get together. You know, they don't want I to bring this truth forward. But what we'll do, if we have to restart so forth and so on, we'll do a next vid where we can actually show you on the screen. The reason why I wanted to do this vid is actually to show this, right? And if you recall, right, let, let me see if I can strap on this particular belt. Now, go on the Internet and look up the symbol or the logo of the Order of the Guard. Right? Look at it and look at it carefully and tell me what do you see there? What do you see there? Okay, I'm doing this like a the left the left hand style. Let me do the right hand style. Yeah. Tell me what you see. Tell me what you see when you go to the Wikipedia page and you look at the logo. It should be in blue and white. I think it has red there. Right? Now, let's make these connections. Let's make we already know that the Ethiopian crown is older, the Solomonic Davidic crown is older than the entire British monarchy, right? You recall, let me, okay, let me stand up here, right? You remember this, right? You remember this. Remember how the, remember how the belt used to be worn? Let's see if we, we, we can show you. Remember how the belt used to be worn right here, right? Remember that? So, so basically it would be, you know, similar to this right here. You see, you go around here like that. And they'll be worn and be hanging down, right? Uh, like a long, a long tongue, right? Would be hanging down, right? Now, look at the image. Compare this, if you will. Compare this, if you will, with the particular image that you see for the order of the guards. It's basically the same thing. It's basically now. Some would say, "Oh well, when it's saying guard to, it is speaking of a guard to belt. That's a Victorian. Let's understand this." That's a Victorian invention or a Victorian interpolation. You understand? The first original idea was basically a belt. So if we take this belt right here and we hook it in like that, it looks a little bit like this. This is exactly how it looks. It's basically a belt, right? A particular belt. Now, there's an interesting story of it. 
You know, that's behind um, the order of the guard. So this thing went out again. All right, I'm going to have to bring this up another way, brothers and sisters. Um, um, this is out of memory right here. All right, some of these computers, you, you know, it's just man-made, you know, European um, designs, most of it, because they they sought to keep us out of the technology that they've allowed more black people, you know, them to have a free hand in technology and education, a lot of this equipment would actually work much better, you understand, like it did in the ancient times. But that's another story right there. So the order of the garter, right, the order of the garter. Now, who is the order of the garter? Uh, in other words, what sort of individuals? They are shelf team. So there's an order of the garter. Let's understand this. There's an order of the garter and the shofet team or the farajoch connection. Who are they? They're the magistrates. Who are they? They are the judges. And what do the judges and the magistrates do? They provide law and order. You understand? So if we look in the world today, can we say that there's law and order? Definitely not. You understand? There's a breakdown of law and order. You understand? In the time of His Imperial Majesty, there was there was stability. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you really have to be able to look at history and study history in its in its clear you understand context. And I know it's very difficult because there's been a lot of rewriting of history, as we see even in the case of um, King um, Edward the original founder of the Order of the Guards. Another interesting thing, too, that we found out. We found out that um, Prince, uh, the, the English Prince uh, William, or Valheim, that Valheim, he has been made, um, he has been made uh, an, an honorary or, or, or Order of the Guards. But what they did was this, because you can look at a list of all of the Guards um, um, recipients, right? And we found a page also that's connected um, with the Order of the Guard, to, and I think it's the wiki page where they show you all of them and His Imperial Majesty is listed, but what's not listed is what number. In fact, I have to try to figure out, well, what number, you know, of, of all of the Order of the Guard to recipients since the Order was um, established around 1340, 1348 or so, to get exact, but in, in, in the 1300s, which was his number, because they gave um, the number 1,000, right, to this uh, prince or so-called king in waiting, um, Prince Valheim. They, they, they skipped over a whole bunch of numbers, and they gave him the 1,000th, so they put him in the 1,000th position, because you see, they have a, a plan, they have a scheme, they have an idea. You understand? But John Rastafari, he also has a plan. You understand? He also has an idea. And truly, you understand? They scheme a scheme. But I and I, Godfather, but John Rastafari is the best of planners, is the best of schemers. And we already know what his will is because he's given us his love letter. He's given us the Metzhav Kedus. He has given us the Holy Spirit through his only begotten Son, through Gitachina, Medhanatachin, Jesus Christos. You understand? So when we are born again, you understand, and we come into His will, you understand, we don't get fretted and frustrated by these things, but we take note, you understand, we take note, you understand, of these things, and we consult with Abba, you understand, we consult with Abba Kedus, with Kedus Abba Tachin, in and through the name and the authority of our black Lord and Savior, Gitachina Medhanitachin Jesus Christos. So, the order of the Garter, very, very interesting. This is just an introduction, brothers and sisters, because I, I've been trying to pull up this, this, this uh, visual right here so you can see this right here, but give you a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a background on it, as it were. You will sense so I and I can um, look into the fulfillment and the fullness and yeah, these belts right here. Remember these belts right here? What what happened to them? You understand why they stopped? So I and I, uh, Rastafari brethren out of the Caribbean and out of Jamaica, they might not have fully understood the significance of this, but now we can see how the Holy Spirit 
is 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 moving. You know what I'm saying? Even sometimes when we don't fully understand until later on, we'll say, "Wow, why we did that? We didn't do that consciously with that in mind, but in the fulfillment and the fullness of it, we get to recognize our woe and our main." So, brothers and sisters, stay tuned some more on this particular subject matter, and hopefully we'll get into some more on um, show theme. In fact, if we were to put it up there, it would be something like this right there. Yovas, it would look something like this right here. Almost, in the, actually, when you look at the, the, the official motto or logo for the Order of the Garter, it actually is more of a circular shape. Right, it's all more of a circular shape, but if you look at it right here, you can see the the, the practicus, the hand sign of his imperial majesty. As you can see within this eye trade over here, the hand sign of his imperial majesty, or what's known as the the salutation of peace, right? The salamta, the salutation of peace, right there. So you see that it also in the symbolic of the order of the garden. And also the connection of Caduce Georgis of St. George is also very relevant concerning the connection with the Order of the Garter. But what we want to make known right here is that that was founded by a black British, right? The black British, a black British king, right? And if you go to the um, wiki page... All right, let me try to go here again. If you go to the wiki page on Wikipedia and you look up Order of the Garter, you'll see that they have suppressed they have suppressed the picture of King Edward. I mean, it's there. They don't completely hide it, but they do not make it known. They do not make it known. You almost have to dig and dig and dig. And we did a video a couple of uh, months ago, actually, on the Order of the Garter and this King Edward. King Edward, right? And it was interesting when we found the picture at first. We showed you in, in the previous vid. We found the picture at first. The picture was on part of the Spanish, right? Um, or oh, maybe it might have been Porto, Portuguese or Portuguese. It was on the Spanish or it was Portuguese. We actually had found it on the Spanish or the or the um, Portuguese uh, section because how the name was written. It wasn't Edward, but it was like Edward, Edward, and so it was more in a in a um, Spanish uh, form of it. So this all connects with show team. You know, and this all and it all connects with order. You know, and the order that we now need to learn. You understand? To learn of him. You understand? And through the faith in his only begotten son, through faith in our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, to grow up, you understand, as his dearly beloved children. We have to grow into that exercise of our authority in the kingdom of the King of Kings and his Christ. But we have to know the truth. You understand? Because it's the truth that sets us free. You understand? Because now that you understand this, as you begin to understand, well, wow, oh, whoa. So the order of the garter and many of these um, 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 chivalry type orders actually began from black people. You understand? Ancient and noble black people. Ancient and honorable black people. You understand? And people who were of the covenant. You understand? Know of the Al Kidan of the Banai Berit. That's where we get the word Berit ish from. You know, understand that? Berit ish. British comes from that. That's why you might be English, but you're not British. And they'll let you know this very, very, very well. But they have, it's a different covenant. It's not the true covenant. The apostasy that we see going on today is not the true Berit ish. It's not the true Banai Berit. It is the covenant of um, Baal. Baal Berit. If you, if, you, if you look up the name in the Hebrew, you'll find Baal Berit. You understand? And, and, and not just the name, but then when you start to look at the fruit, you understand? Look at the fruit. Look at the apostasy. Look at the betrayal 
by the British monarchy of his imperial majesty. You know, saying through their institutions, spreading lies and slander, like through the BBC media and through that, um, what's his name, Dimbley, you know, that Dimbley guy, you understand, who exaggerated facts, distorted it, you understand, because it was a conspiracy. Now, when we're speaking about the Illuminati today, when we're speaking about the so-called um, um, Rothschild Jews today, and we're speaking about the bankers and, and London City and London City. Overstand this in the big picture. You, you over, then we can really understand what was going on in Ethiopia and that attack against Ethiopia and how many careless Ethiopians and even worse than we thought that some of them were just careless. You understand? Like, like, like they didn't know what they were doing. But now our research and our combined research of other Rastafari has disclosed even a deeper conspiracy against his imperial majesty, the so-called Kabbalistic ritual murder of the king, and how they designed, as they designed against Yeshua HaMoshiach, as they designed against our black Lord and Savior, the whole crucifixion, and what the so-called Pharisees and the Sanhedrin and those religious leaders who said um, of the black Beit Israel of the first century, they said, we have no king but Caesar. You know saying? We have no king but Caesar. So the Almighty gave them what they requested. So they eventually would get Caesar Bogiers. Do we have his, um, on that cassette cover? You're already seen it already. And we don't want to even like to use, you know, look at it. You understand? Know but, you know, in grace, we're able to deal with it. You already know what Caesar Bogiers looks like. So look up Caesar Bogiers and Jesus on the internet, the YouTube. You'll find black Hebrew Israelites. You'll find other groups. You understand? Know and even when you start to look into the story itself, you understand? Know You're only beginning to look into the, 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 the rabbit's hole. You understand? Know it's very, very deep. As the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said to uh, Farrakhan, um, um, you do not know the depths of, of, of Satan. And even the Bible says that they don't know the depths of Satan as they speak. You know, and this is a very, very um, deep conspiracy against God, the true and living God and his Christ. You know, and revealed in the person of Kedamawi Haile Selassie, of Haile Selassie the first and I and I his sons and his daughters. So we need to know this half the story, my brothers and sisters. So uh, I'll, I'll try to open up this window right here. Like I said, it's going a little bit slow right here, this computer. Um, but still, there, there's more to this. But we just want to link right here the, the red, gold, green belt. The old thing that was popularized, especially among many of the Yardi, the old thing in Jamaican and, and the West Indian or Caribbean based Rastafari, Yovas, and then even many of us from the Americas, the Buffalo Soldiers, Yovas, and all the, all the children of the Buffalo Soldiers, we also got involved in this. But now, you know, this is all, this is being made now, what, out of China? Yovas, and out of China? Don't be vexed with China. Yovas, and remember, His Majesty had a certain strategy, and for truly his sons and his daughters, it would behoove us to see what I and I fathers plans, will, and word sound concerning China. China, overall, is not I and I enemy. You understand? I mean, let's, let's just recognize, you understand? Let's recognize that. You understand? Because there's a lot of times that we get, you know, we forget who we are. You understand? Or we may be saying we're Rastafari fraudulently. You understand? So in saying that, we don't really recognize that we are saying one thing, but it's going against what I and I father has willed what I and I father has done and also we're saying these things in ignorance you understand in fact we should be making business to I and I's Rastafari with China you understand with India you understand with the East just as sovereign you understand as we start to grow into that authorization but we already have that authorization if we receive the good news of his imperial majesty and his Christ you understand? If we truly have been born again as his blessed and beloved sons and daughters. Remember what Revelation says. You understand? The, we are a, a, a kingdom 
you know saying, we are a kingdom of the priesthood. But we have to understand, well, what is the order? You know saying, what is the order of I and I Father's house? And the order of the garden is just one of many such examples. And even this Rastafari belt, the red, gold, green belt, Arangwade Beach, a um, Kelevet. I mean, even look at that right there. The word Kelevet. What is Kelevet? It's, it's Kelevet. Look, no, right? Yeah, yeah, Kelevet. I always like to check, you know, you just make sure, you understand, it's on point. Kelevet. Kelevet, if you look at the word Kelebet. Kelebet. Right? Kelebet. You almost see the letters for, for Kebele. As you have Kebele. You understand? Kebele is to receive. You understand? So on a higher level, the belt is what receives. You understand? When one has been received into that ancient order. But what we're seeing today that is called the order of the Garta, you understand, is not the same thing. It's like when we look at the pictures of, quote, Jesus. You understand, the images that are most popularized of Jesus today is not. We look at Christianity and how it's being preached and practiced overall. You understand? And what we see today is not the same as the founder of the faith. You understand, my brothers and sisters? So more to come on this particular issue. Let's see if we can get that on the outro. This machine is probably overheated right now. But anyway, more on the order of the guards and the order of the guards are like many of the other ancient orders that we find his imperial majesty as a recipient and honorary you understand Gurmawi Kadamawi Haile Selassie right of these orders Emperor of Ethiopia defender of the faith grand cordon of the order of Solomon knight grand cross of the order of Solomon knight of the garter or the Garter, Knight of the Garter, right, 1954, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Bath, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Caduce Mikael and Caduce Georgis, Royal Victorian Chain, Field Marshal, Honorary of the British Army, Doctor of Laws, Honorary, Cambridge, 1924. Doctor of Civil Laws, Honorary, Oxford, 1954. Grand Cross of the Order of the Legion of Honor in France. The Order of the Annunciation, which is, a, which is an ancient order of Italia or Italy. Order of Merit of the Italian Republic. The Order of the Golden Lion of Luxembourg. The Order of the Seraphines, Sweden. The Order of the Elephant, Denmark. Grand Collar of Carlos III, Spain. The Order of the Savior, Greece. The Order of Leopold, Belgium. The Order of Sir Vorov, Suvorov. Suvorov, you could tell, the Order of Suvorov, USSR, which today would be the Soviet um, Union. The Order of Saint or Caduce Olaf, Norway. The Order of the Star, Yugoslavia. The Order of the Aztec Eagle, Mexico. The Order of the Republic First Class, Sudan. The Order of San Sebastian Guillaume, Guillaume, um, Brazil, right, or Brazil. Um, the Order of the Lion of the Netherlands, Holland. First Class Military Order of the White Lion, Czechoslovakia. The Order of Military Merit, the Federal Republic of Germany or Alemania, ribbon of the Grand Cross of the Order of Christos of Christ, St. James and Aviz, Portugal or Portugal, 
honorary doctor of laws awarded by the following universities. Now, in addition to these ancient, um, these ancient Christian orders, you understand? These see, this is different and separate from what you call today Freemasonry. See, a lot of folks that don't know nothing, they begin to see this and they say, well. His Imperial Majesty, actually, he was a, a, a Mason or a Freemason. He was in a Freemason. A Mason, a builder? Is he not the one who, who built what we call modern Ethiopia? Modern Imperial Ethiopia? No doubt. You know of course he's a builder. You understand? Remember what the scripture says. The stone which the builders refuse has become the head of or the ras of the corner. You understand? So when you start to put all this prophetic together, you understand it makes perfect, perfect sense. Um, the following university, Athens, Greece, um, um, Banaras, India, um, Moscow, USSR, Charles, uh, Czechoslovakia, Columbia, McGill, uh, Michigan, or Michigan, Howard, uh, Georgetown, and the USA. The University of the West Indies in Jamaica, um, Montreal, Laval, Canada, 1954, an honorary doctor of agriculture, hmm, agriculture in Bonn, Germany, 1954. I've been looking, I don't know if he has a picture of His Majesty in this particular book, a lot of very important um uh, historical uh, newspapers. You know, and as a researcher, um, we think that this uh, this uh, fallen brethren. You know, um, you know many. You know, see the 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 true church of Rastafari is supposed to be a hospital, a hospital for for the hot the sinners, for those who the heavily burdened souls. The the church of Rastafari, or the Beta Rastafari, it, 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 it's not a museum for, for, for saints. You know what I'm saying? It's not a museum. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's a real ministry work we must understand to be done. You know what I'm So this is why the teaching of His Majesty, um, the Shabbat, the Shabbatical studies, readings, and feeding, discipleship, all of this is, is, is preparatory, brothers and sisters. All of this is helping us to, to, to square, you understand, to square with that foundation because no other foundation can be laid other than Gitachinamet Hanatachin Jesus Christos. So there is no other teaching for us other than the teaching of His Imperial Majesty and His Christ and the testimony of Gita Jesus Christos of Adonai Yeshua. Uh, so, so we're looking for this again, and um, let me see if it's in here. Um, we'll show it in the next in the next vid on this subject matter. Um, we'll show it in the next vid on this particular subject matter. I mean, this is a really important book here, as as uh, you know, it has some very important research in here. He always, you know, I mean, we accept things from that Gentile writers do all the time. So we have a, a brethren that has might have fallen from either the faith or fallen from hopefully just from fellowship you understand um you know because there's a, i could speak to the scripture of how we should have dealt with a lot of situations i've learned how i should have dealt with a lot of situations as well and because you recognize that wow father already has given us his instruction and then after the fact when you recognize these things you know um it's not a it's not a good a good feeling, you know. You have to say exio yikarbelen, you know, you know, um, you know, forgive me, you know, father, you know, for not being this. It's like when a brother in a one fall off, you know, and there, there's a process. Or if your your brother in has odds against you, there is a process. And too often we are relying on the flesh instead of John's process. Yovis. Um but more on more on the order of the God to coming forward. They have a very interesting motto 
um, is a very interesting motto as well. Um, I think it's evil be to to he who thinks evil. You know, evil be to he who thinks evil it reminds me of the scripture where it says that, um, you know, but to the pure, you understand, all things are pure. So consequently and vis-a-vis -vis evil, you know, evil is to, 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 to he who thinks it. So once again, look at this. See this right here? Right? You see this? Right? This is more in the circular, in the circular shape right there, right? You see this? Like the order of the God to the Aranguade. The Aranguade Beach I K. You understand the early Rastafari, right? The, the early Rastafari belt, right? Now, 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 look at this right here. So we have the Garter right here, right? The Rastafari Garter. All right, here. You see this right here? You see this right there? See that there? Let's see if we can lift this up. Okay. Right there. You see that? The Order of the Garter. Anything that looks familiar? See that right there? See, see, it's a belt, right? The story is interesting too, concerning it, right? Um, and it was Edward who established it, but as you, as you go down the page, right? As you go down the page, you see another example of it right there, right? Which is a belt, and you see the cross, all right? And see, it's 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 not the so-called Roman cross, it's more like the Ethiopian cross, right? It's more like it's unilateral cross. It's almost like, like la, la, la libella, right? It's almost a la libella. So even the shape and the design, now they show this guy right here, right? They show this guy right here. This is not, this is not him. This is not the founder, right? This is Henry of Grossmont, right? Earl of Lancaster in 1361. Right later, he was uh, Duke of uh, Lancaster. Right, order. Um, let's see. He was the second, said to be the second recipient of the order shown wearing his guard to robes in an illustration from 1430. All right. So this, you can see how they use some of the the French, because you have to actually. Well, if they're British nobility, why do they use French? You know, and then they want to tell us about the Da Vinci Code and leave out the black. All right. Now it says over here that it was founded by. Edward the Third, right? By Edward the Third. So let's just click on this for a moment and let's see if we can show you this. Since it finally did it finally did come up. Right? It finally did come up. So this machine is a little bit slow, but alright. Even though it seems like this one had a uh this this one had a was swarthy. Seems like he was swarthy as they call it. You know what I mean? Seems like he was a little bit swarthy and everything like that. Um, seems they tried to they try to lighten it up. So we're going to Edward the Third because it's Edward the Third, right? It's Edward the Third that founded the Order of Garter around the time of his claims to the French throne, right? The claims to the French throne, and it says uh, the foundation year is usually presumed to be 1348. But then someone else here said right here, the founders of the Order of the God to state the order was first instituted on the 23rd of April, right? The 23rd of April, 1344, listing each founding member as knighted in 1344. And then it goes into some other details right there. Now, this was, like I said, a Christian Order, and they said the Order of the Garter is the oldest and most prestigious order of chivalry in the United Kingdom. Now, remember, it was established by the Black Brit Ish, you understand, the Black Covenant Kings and Covenant people. And if this machine here, you understand, would go to the next page, like we said, we showed you in a in in, in a previous in a previous vid, but we want to. Just sum it up right here in this particular vid. We kind of went over um, the time, we, you know, that we expected. But hopefully ones and ones will be picking up the basic ideas that we're trying to share with this and then do more research on their own, all right, more research on their own. So um, let's see what it says down here. Okay, because when you see the word night, Right today, the knights today are 
N I G H T. They are without the light. They are without the light of the King of Kings and His Christ. These present nights, since the apostasy, since the great transgression against the King of Kings. And so when we, we point out the British Queen, we see that she, in a sense, fulfills that role of Elzebel in the Johannes Rai in Revelation. Because if you notice, Nothing was really, no movements were really being made for a while. Now she's kind of coming out again, and now they're trying to bring this whole, um, like another king that's speaking this, everybody's falling in love. It's like, almost like everyone is believing a lie. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone is, is believing a lie. Why now? Why at this time? You know, was why now? Why at this time? So we see in Revelation, it said that it was given, she was given a moment, a time to repent. And yet she she would not, you know, yet she did not. And so far she hasn't spoken one word, you understand, of apology against, you know, ag you know, against what was done by her subjects in slandering and seeking to tarnish the good name of the King of Kings by their media, the BBC. You know, was apologizing to all of we, to the Ethiopian people for this conspiracy. But some say... You know, some of our um, informants, you know, have said that, well, it's because she's, she's in the hip pocket of basically of the bankers, the Rothschild, you understand, the, the, the Torah-less Jews, not the other Jews who are, they might be European or white, but there's the other Jews who lick out against those Jews. So, it's, it, you know, it's not as, it's not as simple as, as some of these um, so-called videos out there try to portray it. You understand? Or betray it. But some some folks really don't know because they, they, they have neglected the head cornerstone. All right, so this page right here is not really making any um it's not really making any movement right here. But once again, this is the second. This is the second person. Right? You gotta go here when you go to this particular um site, you have to go here and click on King Edward the Third. And I think if I'm correct they might not have the picture even there. Because we went there and was bugged. It was like, how come we can only find the picture of um, King Edward III? You understand? Third, three, Trinity. How come we can only find the picture of King Edward III on the Spanish site? You understand? Because they don't really want English readers to really start to make these connections. You know what I'm saying? To really make these connections right there. So, okay. Let's see if we can um, put a little more pressure on this. All right. Anyway, brothers and sisters, stay tuned. Um, like I said, go do a little bit of study on this to get some of the basic facts. But when you come to this page, right, okay, this is the page that we that we linked it from right here, right? And then it talks about the list. I was saying about the list right here, you know, and it said it was founded. Everyone said it was founded by Edward III, right, Edward III, right? So this speaks about this, so forth and so on, right? And um, I guess if we go back here again. All right. Yeah. Hopefully on your computer, you, you if you're at your computer right now, you can do that and check it out for yourself. All right, anyway, shalom, more to come, ras teferi, shalom.